I just found out 45 minutes ago that Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash in uh, Calabasas. It's about 30 minutes north of Los Angeles. Uh, he, he died, uh, five people on board died, including his daughter, Gianna. She was 13 years old. And uh, it took me a while to process this, uh, this uh, horrible, horrible news. I am a lifelong hardcore Los Angeles Lakers fan. I got it tattooed on my arm. I love the Los Angeles Lakers. I've been a fan since 1990. And, uh, you know, I grew up watching Magic Johnson play. When he got HIV, I cried that day. I was 12 years old because I thought he was going to die. And then come to find out, you know, he didn't, thank God. And then in 1996, the Los Angeles Lakers drafted Kobe Bryant. Shaquille O'Neal signed with the team, and Kobe went on to win five championships. And I rooted with Kobe Bryant. He was only a year older than me, and I I rooted for him through the good times and the bad times, through the you know uh, 30 win seasons up into the, the the 60 win seasons, and uh, and now he's dead. His daughter's dead too, and three other people lost their lives. This is wild. I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm in the same kind of shock I was when my, Michael Jackson died. Uh, regardless of what you think about him, uh, Michael, jo Michael Jackson was a, was a cultural icon that I grew up with as a kid, uh, listening to his music, and, you know, I grew up as a teenager going into a young adult into a, pretty much a middle-aged man. Uh, rooting for Kobe Bryant, uh, and uh, and now he's dead. Um, I've never ever liked helicopters. I've never ever liked helicopters. Me living in Vegas for so many years on and off, helicopters are always crashing. To me, they're dangerous as hell. I'm not getting into anything that flies like this. I, you can call it whatever you want. I hate helicopters, and uh, you know, this is stories like this is why I don't I don't particularly care for it. And now I'm uh, very very sad and at a loss for words. Normally, when celebrities die, I don't like go on and on about them because I you know I don't watch I don't watch a lot of movies and TV and stuff. But uh, you know, there's been celebrity deaths that like you know, hit me hard, Scott Weiland when he died, but I knew he was going to die, I just knew he was going to die of a heroin overdose, but um, I've always had bad feelings about Kobe Bryant riding a helicopter back and forth between Laker games and his home, and for his, for him and his 13-year-old daughter to die together, um, I, I cannot, uh, I, I don't even know what to say. You know, my channel, when I when I do videos and I go to graveyards, um, you know, showing the people like how they died and, and or just showing stones or what have you, or maybe I go to crime scenes, um, I always try to show reverence for the dead, you know what I mean? Because one day we're all going to die and, you know, we all don't know how we're going to die or when we're going to die. We all know that it is going to happen. It is a natural process in life to, to, to die, to be born, to live, to die. Uh, death does not care how much money you have. Death does not care if you're good looking. Death does not care how much of a great person you are. Um, when it comes for you, it pretty much comes for you. Uh, there's always things you can do in your life to prevent it or prolong it. And I'm sure as hell trying to do that. That's why every day when I wake up, I always... I always uh, thank God that he gives me like another day to live. You know what I mean? Because I know I, I love my life. A lot of people like, you know, they see me and they're like, they're like, oh, this guy doesn't like his life. No, I love my life. I love what I do. I love living in a van. I love traveling. I love going to cemeteries. I love showing places that people may not have uh, be able to go to or maybe they didn't think about that story. But um, yeah, I mean, not to, you know, not to go on and on about it, but man, I, you know, Kobe Bryant was like, uh, uh, I mean, I, he was a legend. He was a legend to me that that dude was one of the top five ba best basketball players that ever lived. And, uh, now he's dead. I can't, I guy, you know, like I said, when, it, when death comes for you, it comes for you. That's why every day, always, 
always wake up and always thank God or thank whoever, whatever book, religious book you believe in, whatever makes you feel good. Always thank the, the, a higher power that you're that you're still here, that you're still alive, because people that I've loved and people that I've cared about have have gone on. And as you get older, you know you're you're gonna start. You know it's you know you're gonna, your grandparents are gonna die, and then your parents are gonna die, and then you know you, your uncles and aunts, and it's just a it's a horrible, horrible, tragic thing. And I mean, a lot of Los Angeles Lakers fans they they only know Kobe Bryant. That's it. They only know Kobe Bryant. A lot of them didn't grow up watching Magic Johnson play. You know, so they I mean, if you're 30, 35 years old, you only know Kobe Bryant. And they consider and they consider him the greatest Laker that ever lived, and it's not even close because they watched him. They watched him in the age of the internet, and now he's dead. So I feel I feel ter terrible for his daughter to die in a, in a in a tragic way like that. To know that you're that the helicopter you're in is crashing, and all you could do is is hold your daughter tight to you, and they both die together. So uh, always uh, always thank God you're still alive, guys. Don't ever ever take today for granted because tomorrow is not promised to no man I tell you this much no man no woman so uh, rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and his daughter it's just a very very sad day if you're a sports fan uh, if you're a Los Angeles Lakers fan if you're a Kobe Bryant fan and if you're just uh, a human being so alright guys I will catch up with you on the uh, on the next video peace out